way that St. Cloud played last night. And, and, you know, obviously Scott Sandlin was happy with the majority of things. You know coaches are never going to be happy with everything. Hammers it around to the near side. Doesn't get out. Fed back to the point. Huskies in control. Lakabi shot. Knocked down in front. Rebound to score! The defensemen were getting down low, and Nick Purvix, look where Purvix is, right in front of the net, and he's got such a great stick. And watch him just grab, he just flips it past. It's the force all over the ice, so you, you have to move that puck quickly. Here's Henches now. Saucers it back to Purvix, over to the far side, centering pass in front, oh. Henches denied by Fanti. If he could have just gotten it off a hair quicker, he... Oh, and Wyatt Kaiser couldn't get a stick on it, and then he paid for it. He's blasted. Now the dogs get caught. Here's Cronulla walking in. Scores! Yami Cronulla, and it's 2 0 St. Cloud State. And realized he couldn't get the puck over to Okabe, who was busting. And I think Okabe kind of. And the Bulldogs come back the other way through center. Low height played it in. But it was turned quickly back the other way. Walker drops it back. Oh. Shot by Brodzinski. Kiss the far post and carry him down. Yeah, that oh. it's <laughs> remarkable. Trabill throws it on net. Fanti fights that off. Uh-oh. Long lead pass connects. Here's Roth on a breakaway. And Kester makes the save. A huge save. Pulling down Louis Rail. Yeah, he and, even you know, admitted the, that in his yeah, intermission I, interview. Yeah, and it's just you know one of those situations where you can't get frustrated. And, and there you go. Costs him. Cates buries it, and we've got a hockey. Looking for the redirect. That was blocked. Kelly gets it right back. Feeds it down low to Olson. Olson drops it off to Kelly. In front, beyond his shot, they score. It's all tied at two. Dominic J. Watch beyond. He kind of fans on it. And James left all alone on the pipe, and he just taps that in. You see, beyond he didn't get all of that shot. And it just, we talk about your specialty teams, and, and say, excuse me, UMD's power play had been struggling, but been awfully good tonight. Whoa. <laughs> End up on, Fitzgerald wins the, wins the draw. Trable takes a shot, was blocked, went right to Nick Purvix, and he just turned and fired it. And, and those ones are real. I'm a little surprised that Brett has not called a timeout yet. Off the faceoff. Bulldogs control. Oh. Score! Matt Anderson's shot had... Boy, this has been a game of winning draws. And getting a quick shot out. Look at Matt Anderson. He had to get it off his stick right away as he was being pressured. And there were a lot of bodies in front of Caster, and he just didn't see that. Anderson beats him, and we are gallery. And Ryan Fanti was there to make the saves. Husky still on the power play, but only for four seconds. One timer. Poke oh. it off the crossbar, oh. and it bounces free. Fanti scramble it. And his pass intercepted. Bulldogs come out with Kobe Roth. Two on two if they hurry. Cates across the line. Wrist shot scores! And that's it. The Bulldogs come in to see. Before it went in, there's Roth. And Cates is just going to wait, turn, take the shot. And yeah, it, it, it may have hit Kobe Roth. And deflected off of him, passed. We'll take it. This is a better look. Yeah, it, it, it hit something and went in between the legs of Castor.